I've been to a goblin turkey since I've been here. Last couple days, they just ain't said nothing. But I found out yesterday there's been quite a bit of hunting pressure in here. There's been four gobblers killed out of here. Kind of sucks, but it happens. I mean, for years I had this place to myself. But, you know, the rise of turkey hunting being popular. You know, it just happens. But they didn't get all of them. Hopefully we can get this one. And we got that sucker. Worked him all the way up here. He finally just eased in, wind him in. Got some good hooks. Oh yeah. I was sitting right back there. I was sitting right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So this morning I was headed back over toward the barn because I just ain't heard none. I just ain't had no turkeys gobbling over here. And every year they gobble right in here. And I kill most of my turkeys on this side, either over here or back in here or right in here. Well, I ain't even heard the first gobbler in three days over here. And uh, I heard three the first day I was up here three days ago. But they was way back over there on the other side of the property. So this morning, that's where I was headed because I didn't hear nothing yesterday. And uh, there's been hunting pressure in here. I found out yesterday that there have been four gobblers killed in here since season opened. And uh, <laughs> it kind of kind of disappointed me. I mean, you know, I, well. I shouldn't say disappointed me. I'm glad the hunters got their gobblers, but you know, for years I was the only person that hunted here. But you know, more people are starting to ask permission, I guess, and getting access. But I've never seen nobody. Of course, I come up here the last week of season, and uh, you know, because that's where I've always done the best in late season. But I thought, man, yesterday I thought that's why these turkeys ain't doing much in here is because they've probably been pushed around. So. I was headed over to the barn and Buddy Isson gobbled and I about knew exactly where he was at and I was right. In fact, this tree right here, I don't know if you can see, I was trying to get when I was way when I was way over there 
at the uh, almost the barn I was trying to uh, when he gobbled I thought I got to get to that leaning tree that tree that leans up because I've killed the two gobblers there at that leaning tree and I kind of thought you know I got to get to that tree because uh, he's somewhere close to it buddy he was right in front of it and so anyways uh, <laughs> I got right in here so I come up to here and he gobbled and uh, across the fence and I couldn't make it to that leaning tree I had to get right here because he was too close and then I had a hen right here above me in this tree and that one right there and she uh, she I don't think she quite knew what I was but she started like getting all flipped out and then I, she may have helped me though because she just kept she calmed down and she just kept purring and clucking purring and clucking and he kept gobbling at her and then I started and he gobbled at me and they had them jakes with him and so they stayed up there quite a bit and so when they flew down they flew down in this in this bottom and I thought uh oh man because you know it's open in here and I thought well he may uh, you know want that hen to come to him and hang up but uh, I just started whining to it you know just started kind of soft calling then whining and man that tore him up I mean that just absolutely I, I seen him down there in the bottom he just turned so when he so when he flew down he landed in this bottom and he, and he come right up when I when I see him coming up through here and you can see how open he is I kind of knew he was in business and he come right there up by that leaning tree and he was just right there about that black tree right here and I was sitting right here and called him all the way in and uh, you know I just purring whining doing the two doing the two yelps but of course I couldn't move I couldn't move much because he was it's open right here and uh, you know I don't know if my GoPro got it or not I uh, I couldn't really do much <laughs> but anyway he's a nice gobbler Got a pretty good little rope too. So, just a typical late season uh, gobbler, and and you know that just you get you just try to get close to them there as, as you can, and then just just soft call. You know, I didn't hardly even yelp to this turkey. I just you know two two three note yelps, real soft, and uh, and then just mostly just clucking or bubble clucking and, and whining to him and when I started whining to him like I said he, he come right up to here so it just it's just another gobbler that I can tell you over the many many years that I've used that whine and, and broke them and, and come right on in uh, it don't work all the time but it works a lot of the time and it's just something that I've always done ever since uh, my old buddy Alex Rutledge told me 25 years ago, <laughs> you know, 25 years ago, uh, he taught me that call, and uh, it's it's put a lot of turkeys in across my shoulder, I guarantee you that, and it's helped a lot of you too. But uh, you know, it's just this is just a part of the season that I love to hunt, and uh, but I was sort of disappointed. The last couple of days because this is not the way this farm is usually uh, you know it's just not usually I like this where it's just so quiet but it's hunting pressure and you know many many years I'd come up here and, and kill one the first day and then I'd kill two in two days <laughs> or two in three days it was, I mean I was never I was never up here over oh I was never up here over three days there's ain't no goblin there's ain't no goblin Except this morning, you know, he gobbled quite a bit. But then when he hit the ground, he never gobbled though. But I, I, I seen him though when he hit the ground, he was down there in the bottom. So I got to physically see him and watch his body language. But, you know.
Check out all of our great sponsors that helps us in the links below. Check out Tidewee.com where you can get a lot of great products over there. Just use that promo code DALE where you can get even a better percentage off through the promo code. Check out Stugger Shotguns. Check out Spring Fever Custom Calls where you can get my signature line of Matt Dale Old Sly series of turkey calls. You don't want to miss out on any of it. And check out Kona Scopes and all the other great uh, sponsors we have in the links below. We really appreciate you watching this video. Until the next one, you be safe out there and get that big old gobbler this coming spring.